Hey y'all, welcome back. So do you need Magic Band Plus? Cause you gotta have Plus at Disneyland. Specifically Disneyland, California. So in my experience, we had someone in our party that needed the Disability Accessibility Services Pass. And we happened to scan the wrong person in with the wrong band and it made our day very difficult. Now we could have gone back to the front of the park and changed the magic band over and redid the pictures and it was a process. So we just didn't. So then for the day to select the person that did not have the right magic band, I had to scan them in with my phone. But that made the magic bands like not really useful. So in my opinion, no, you don't need it. If you're staying at the hotel, you might be able to use it as like a room key thing, but you can't even pay for anything. Like even if you're staying at Disneyland Hotel, the Grand Californian, Pixar Pier, you can't stay, you can't use it to pay for anything, which is one of the big perks at Disney World. It does react to things around the park, so it's cool. If it was a, a small group, not the last time we went, we went with a group of about, of about 12. Everything was crazy. But if you're going with a smaller group, so when we go back, we're going to buy one more magic band because we already got them. But we're going to make sure with the two of us that they're all, they're scanned in right. And that's what we're planning on doing. But by and large, you don't need them. They don't help with really anything besides getting into the park. And then if you use Genie Plus or Lightning Lane or the Disability Accessibility Services Pass. So if everyone's got their own phone, swipe, swipe, swipe. Or even I've seen people get a, like a screenshot of their ticket, which would be like how you scan in for t rides and then use that screenshot on all the rides or save it as their lock screen and then use that. That seems like a better alternative than dealing with that, the big, you know, buying 10 or 12 of those things, because then it really adds up. With one or two people, maybe, but for a big group, I'd say it's not worth it. Just screenshot the lock wherever, like the screens that have the names on them, and then maybe put them in a different order. Like if you have a group of 15 and you have a person with an A, name and a, a you know an H name but you got a bunch of people in between maybe screenshot them and just put your two together because I think everyone needs everyone's ticket just in case like something happens phone goes dead whatever but if it's just you know an A name and a, a Y name just screenshot your two use those to get in and out of the rides and for the park and everything but I don't think you need magic. I don't think you need magic bands. And that's coming from someone who used them for basically every ride. I use mine, but when I'm scanning everyone else in, I was just scanning on my phone and we just all went. So that's just my opinion. Now it might be different for Disney, Disney World, or I don't know if it's even used at the other Disney parks, but for, for Disneyland California, it's just not worth it isn't there's not enough stuff and you can't use the old one so that was a mistake I made I purchased two of the magic band twos and those are only at Disney World and I had to I sent one back because I bought it through Disney and I bought one at a through a through Amazon which you're not supposed to do but I like claimed it for me and I didn't want to do that to a small business because it wasn't their mistake. They sent me a, a good magic band and I had already claimed it to my name on my account. So I could not in good conscience send it back. So that's my opinion. I think for California, magic bands are a pass.